How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Sanwa AC DC clamp meter. Open this up, clamp it around a conductor, and then you can measure the current through that. This is kind of like a prosumer level quality. What I personally look at is the operating temperature. You can use it between zero and 40 degrees C with less than 80% relative humidity, no condensation. Is this good or bad? There are more expensive clamp meters than that, that has a slightly wider range, but at a cost of nearly double this, you need to think about the environment that you're gonna use this in. Are you in an area that's really, really cold and you need to use this outside or it's very hot? Zero to 40 is actually a very generous range already. It's not extreme temperatures, but it will work for most cases. Most of their clamp meters only do AC. There's a couple of them that can do DC amps. This includes this one, the DCM 400 AD. There's the DCM 600 DR, which has a maximum of 600 amps. And there's a DCM 2000 DR, which have a maximum amps of 2000. If you want to measure the current on AC devices, it helps a lot to get one of these. You plug this into the wall and you plug whatever you want to measure in here and it actually splits out the cables on two sides. There's a 1X and 10X, so you can easily just clamp through here without having to cut into your cable. Of course, if you don't cut your cable, right, and you just kind of measure across the entire thing, there's a current that goes through and the same exact current that comes back. And so you're not gonna measure any current at all. It cancels out. And don't forget to get one of these, which goes from a ungrounded to a grounded plug. So you can test devices that has a grounded plug. Comes in simple packaging, not a blister pack. You can just pull the cardboard right out. Their headquarters is in Tokyo and it's made in Taiwan. So this is a Japanese product and they sell it through an American subsidiary called Sanwa America. There's a little paper here. Comes with a carrying case, instruction manual. There's also a calibration certificate, the meter itself, and you get a pair of probes. These are fairly good quality. They bend relatively easy. And we remove the end pieces here. The tips are pretty pointy, but you can remove this and have a longer tip on both of them. Notice the tips are gold plated. It'll help with conductivity and it'll be a bit more resistant to corrosion. The other end of the plug are not gold plated though. This guy can fit easily in there. When we're done with the leads. We can put it in this little pocket zip it all up. The knob has a very solid feel to it. The plastic quality is very good. It seems very solid to me. And if we change it to amps here, zero it out at first. Now we got zero amps DC. We can try AC amps, plug in my gadget and also the heater, put it through the one X here, nine amps or so. That's about 1200 Watts, 10 X right here, one X right there. And if we go to the 10 X one, we see a hundred amps. Normally you would use the 10 X if you want more sensitivity, but since we're drawing so much current, it's okay to use the one x and we get 10 amps we turn it to the middle heat setting we get six amps just a fan 0.2 amp we can go to the 10x one and it's 2.2 so this is a little bit more accurate and let's say we want to hold our data i'm going to push hold now i can remove it from here and we can hold on to this reading as needed we can also change it to reading the volts for this we need to plug in our leads stick it into the ac outlet 123.1 and then we also have a continuity tester if it's a short it will beep 11 ohm 5% resistor here and it measures 10.9. The maximum resistance this meter can measure is 400 ohms. Anything less than 40 ohms like this 11 ohm, it's gonna start beeping. So the ohm resistant measurement is a little bit limited. For the AC and DC voltage, it goes up to 600 volts. For the AC and DC amperage, you measure through here and you can go up to 400 amps. But if you only do 40 amps, you'll get a better resolution at 0.01 amps rather than the 0.1 amps. For more details on what it can measure, here are the specifications. We'll just look at the accuracy and do one example. Let's say you're measuring something that is 10 amps. The resolution will show something like 10.01 one amps and then the accuracy is two and a half percent of whatever you're measuring so two and a half percent of 10 amps would be 0.25 amps so it would be plus another 10 which would be 0.35 amps accuracy open this up it uses two AAA batteries that's included 
Regular meters that does not have a clamp has to pass all that current through the digital multimeter and thus it requires very beefy fuses. This one is sensing it through magnetism so there's a lot less current going through here and so the risks of burning a fuse is a lot less. The internal chip is a Cyrus Techcom.tw. It's made in Taiwan. There's a little spring here that contacts the metallic sheets on this side. That's mainly for EMI shielding just to protect it a little bit more. I'm drawing about 55 amps out of this battery. I have it set on the 400 amp range. We can measure this. It says 52.1. What happens if I flip it over? It says 52.3. Let me turn one of them off so we can use the more sensitive range of 40 amps. We'll zero it out and measure this. It says 23.08. If I flip it over, 23.18. It actually differs a little bit depending if I angle it a little. So you see how this is convenient? I don't actually have to connect a shunt resistor here in order to measure the current. I can just remove this shunt resistor and just have a cable here and put this right on anytime I want. There's no added resistance, so it's not wasting any energy. Do you need a 400 amp DC measuring clamp meter, a 600 amp, or a 2000 amp? It really depends what you're gonna work on. For me, I have these guys. The most it ever goes up to is maybe 100 amps. If I have extra capacity, it might go 200 amps or maybe even 400 amps. So for me, using on home battery backup systems, this is probably all I would need. If you're working on something bigger, like industrial motors, something with really high amperages, you probably will need the bigger ones than these and they get more expensive because of that. I hope you guys enjoyed the rundown on which clamp meter to pick. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.